In a world as fast-paced as ours is, high school finishes faster than the chocolate chip cookies disappear in my house. Believe me, that's fast. Me love cookies! Our time spent in the classroom flashes by in a whirlwind. And before you know it, we go from lost, doe-eyed freshmen wandering the hallways to sitting in our caps and gowns, ready to take on the world. In this flurry of activity, there's one question students have always asked that has been haunting teachers since the invention of school. I too have pondered this question more times than the cafeteria has served Big Daddy's pizza. When will I ever use this? After we hang up from Mr. Candelo's Google Classroom for the last time, who is going to ask me if I know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? I've spent countless hours mulling this question over before I wrote this speech, and I think I found an answer that begins to touch the tip of the iceberg. In the race towards perfect grades and dream colleges, many of us lost sight of the bigger picture. Although on the surface, school seems to be a test of the facts, there's a deeper level of understanding that we often overlook as we scramble to complete labs about the most arbitrary topics for science class. In order to dive into those new depths, we must look at life through the lens of a science experiment. Where we see ourselves in the future is a hypothesis. It is an educated guess that we plan for the best we can, and every day that we persevere through is one of the trials in the procedure that determines our conclusion. Although it may seem like it sometimes, our conclusion is not a static goal. As we educate ourselves on topics that exist outside our sphere of life, and we engage in social movements that change the course of history, we will find that our conclusion is dynamic and changes as our passions and our priorities evolve with the world around us. While the future may seem out of our hands, our actions now are the independent variables. They set off a series of chain reactions that change the trials we face every day. However, no matter what the results of our trials are, they never result in failure just a different perception of ourselves, our abilities, and what we value. In science class, we always had our lab partners to rely on to collaborate and form solutions. Now what comes next as we step into the unknown might be intimidating. But just like in the lab where we had partners, in reality, we have our friends and our families to have our backs and guide us when the experiment that is life seems to have lost its purpose. So the next time you're performing experiments on rocks, stickleback fish, or flying pigs. Take a step back and look at how, not the facts, but the method can help you determine your conclusion. Much like the scientific process, life isn't about the results. It's about the method. Not the destination, but the journey. The science lab is the microcosm where we learn these lessons and apply them to real life. Oh, and never forget your closed-toed shoes. Science is real from the beginning.